And I think this is more about Chris Finch. And I'll never understand this as a basketball coach. Oh, they're not calling That how out. you do not call a timeout yeah. when a team is running on you. They had a 21 to 0 run in the That's NBA. That's inexcusable. And you do not call a single timeout. You should be shamed on the street. They should throw lettuce and tomatoes or whatever <laughs> at you in the street because that is re- that is one of the stupidest and things. And he just got an extension. And I will never understand that from college to NBA. I don't care why you do not call a t- timeout when your team is getting ran on up and down the court and you're giving up a 10-0 plus run. I think when it's 10 plus, you have to burn a timeout or stuff like this happens. And even if you're a young team, which the Timberwolves are, it doesn't matter. Maybe early in the season you could do that so maybe they can have a lesson they can learn through that but call a timeout this is a playoff and cat you're exactly right you're a max contract player bro. Yep. you are a max contract player and i know Stephen steven adam good and they have great bigs and grizzlies are a phenomenal defensive team but bro you have eight points i think eight or ten points uh, you just can't do it you can't lean on ant to win you every game the kid's young he's gonna get to that point but d'angelo russell's not that guy he's never been that guy you are a max player man either you're gonna play like it or you need to get out i l- listen and i think jimmy butler took one look around when he was there at cat and was like i don't think this is the dude i need to be teaming up with to win a championship i don't know if cat has that dog in him deep down you are too big not to have that dog i can make it somewhat an argument about Jokic with that too, but the numbers he's putting up are so ridiculous, and it's not like he has Ooh. a ton of help. Jokic right got that dog either. in him, though. But, 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 Jokic always shows up. He always shows up. Yes. Cat has been disappearing multiple times now. We've yeah. seen. Cat ain't on the when Jokic it comes down though. to it. I just don't know if I believe in him. The play-in game, he fouled out, and then and then they came back and won. For the game. sure. It's, then it's, they came back. That's and when won you the game. start to worry. That's the when Grizzlies, you start to worry. They've got good problems. When Josh struggles, we can still win. Yep. We had some. We had some clips here of this comeback. Yeah. Let's run this job. Let, let's run this uh, this clip right here. I believe this is Jaw on the up and under. Uh, again, watching the Grizzlies move the ball. You got Jaw here at the three-point line. He's going to go up and under. Ooh. The dude's just a rubber jelly. man. Absolutely. Uh, you're going to see him work here on the other side. Get out to a three uh, they just started running why do you not call timeout you're gonna bench. see him go underneath right here watch this pass Soup! gunslinger Gosh. straight i think that's desmond bang 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 again Ooh. you talk about affecting the game in multiple ways the grizzlies great comeback win but i don't know how chris finch didn't call timeout hey if you like what you heard and you want to hear more go on over to spotify apple Podcasts, stitcher check out crane and company live every day from two to three central where you can hear us spit it straight